follow these hair care tips if you want your hair to stay soft and moisturized through the sweat and the helmets. First of all, don't be afraid to get more than one helmet. If you're somebody who loves to really switch up your hairstyles and get different hairstyles that might not fit into one sized helmet, then get two or three. For me personally, I don't change up my hair that much and I sort of base my hairstyles around my skating schedule because skating is more important to me than my hair. Typically, I rock this short afro hairstyle, so I cannot really speak to people who have longer hair, like long locks or braids. So if that's you, good luck. One thing I will say if you have a lot more hair than me, and it's a lot longer or thicker, is to choose a go-to skating hairstyle that you can do every time that's gonna fit your helmet. When I'm not just wearing my afro, typically, I'll be in two strand twists under my helmet or flat twists. And I got, my arms got tired after doing like three or four flat twists, so I stopped. You can also do cornrows, but I'm not that talented yet. If I know that I'm gonna be skating for several hours one day, I'll make sure that I put in some leave-in conditioner. I'm testing out these Aussie products just to experiment and see how they react to my hair. So far, this has been really good. It leaves my hair feeling nice and soft after a workout or after I'm skating, whether I have my helmet on or not. After you put in your leave-in conditioner, even better if you have a wave cap or a scarf that you can put over your hair before you put that helmet on. Sometimes I put a scarf on to protect my hair from my helmet. Sometimes I don't because I get lazy, but it's much better if you have a barrier there. Helmets have padding inside of them, and they're held in by Velcro. This type of hair loves Velcro. So don't get your hair stuck on Velcro, wear a scarf. Don't be like me. If you're like me and you constantly are skating every day and sweating a lot, you might feel inclined to wash your hair more often. And do not fall into that trap. I did that and I started using shampoo too often and it stripped the moisture right out of my hair. I still shampoo my hair every couple of weeks, but in between, I use this coconut co-wash by the As I Am brand. If you're not planning on shampooing your hair at least once or twice a month, you wanna make sure that you get a product, like a clarifying product that can wash out that buildup and residue that happens over time from using conditioners and leave-ins. I've been shampooing my hair less and less recently in order to retain my hair's natural moisture. And so one clarifying product that I wanna try is the Diva Curl Buildup Buster. After a long skate session, you want to rejuvenate yourself. So if you're like me, you love to go to the spa and hit the sauna. For some people, that's just not possible. And also we're in a pandemic. I don't know if you want to go. So in order to replicate a sauna, just go into your bathroom, turn the shower up on high heat, close all the windows and the doors and get a, I don't have my shower cap with me, but put your shower cap on and it's going to seal in that moisture and just stay and chill out in there for like five to 10 minutes. After you're done sitting in your own personal steam room for a few minutes, wash your hair out with cold water. And in order to dry it off, don't use a towel. Instead, use a cotton t-shirt. This will prevent frizz and leave your hair feeling nice and soft. A PSA about leave-in conditioners, make sure that your hair is damp before putting it in. You don't wanna put it on dry hair. So what I do is I have my spray bottle here and I get my hair wet a little bit and then I apply my Aussie leave-in. Don't let skating stop you from going out and wanting to look presentable straight away after you're done with the session, all right? This shaping jelly is something you can use with water, so make sure your hair is damp. If you want to preserve your curls and make sure that there is no frizz after you take your helmet off or after you're sweating a lot. 
another product I really like is called the Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And I especially like that product because it works really well on damp or dry hair. So you don't have to lug around a spray bottle. It is so incredibly important that you do not choose beauty over having a fun and healthy workout. And even more importantly, do not choose beauty over your own health and safety. At the end of the day, sacrificing your hairstyle and beauty is a very small price to pay for your own physical health and safety. It's common in the black community for women to choose their hair over doing other things that they want to do. And unfortunately, I have fallen into this trap and it has stopped me many times from doing things that I like. But I am done living that way. Now, instead of feeling trapped and alone, instead I get feelings of overwhelming joy and excitement and freedom when I think about all the different ways that my hair can be styled, especially now that I'm learning to take care of it myself. Taking care of natural hair is a huge learning process and I don't completely know what I'm doing. I'm only sharing tips and tricks of things that I've done that seem to be working for me. But maybe next week I'm gonna change my mind and if that happens, I'll update you. One thing I'm not gonna do is let a little bit of sweat stop me from having fun on my skates. And I'm definitely not gonna sacrifice my safety just because I don't wanna get helmet hair. It's gonna take a lot of extra care and commitment and dedication to get a hair routine going that works for you. But in the end, it will be so worth it because yeah, right now it seems like a lot to put conditioner and a scarf and all these things before you even step out on the rink or the park, but you will be thanking yourself later because after your skate session, when you take your helmet off and you feel how soft your hair is and how easy it will be to take care of, you're gonna be really happy that you put in a little bit of extra work. It might take me even a few tries to get into the habit of putting a scarf on <laughs> over my hair before I put my helmet on but I'm not gonna be too hard on myself because like I said, this is a learning process. Good luck out there.